This headless from court might ruffle a few feathers in the base world. It's super powerful, the beast wing is a dangerous weapon. Well, let's check it out. <laughs> Hi everyone, Gregor here from Base the World today with Frank It playing the Court Artisan Space 5, which comes out today. Court has released a lot of really good bases in recent years, but except for their collaboration models, they were all following a similar concept. The Artisan series is well established in the Court lineup, but this new edition surprisingly different. <laughs> The most obvious feature is the lack of headstock here. Even though we have an extended 35 inch scale design, the Space 5 is shorter than regular bases, which is great news for frequent flyers, headstock into things, bumpers and these sort of people. Since there's no space for tuners on what's left of the headstock, they move them to the bridge, which is also great news again. Left handed tuning is better once you get accustomed to it. Headless bases also have less issues with dead spots on the fretboard, which is also a big plus. But the real kicker is, once you get to hear this bass, you will experience it has an incredibly strong bass foundation. The lower strings are as powerful as all the others. Delightful. Sound-wise, it's one of the most interesting chord bases I've ever played, so let's get to the bottom and find out why it is. The first and to me most surprising feature is the maple body. Not an uncommon choice for basses in general, but definitely uncommon for chord. Maple bodies produce a defined sound which shapes a good part of its character, and to make it all pretty, they combined it with a poplar top. And then they put the so-called stardust black finish on the back and on its top, but left this poplar accent line in natural. That doesn't look only fantastic, it's also a testament to their abilities as bass manufacturer. The neck is made from seven, yes, seven pieces of roasted maple, walnut, purple heart and regular maple. The 24 fret fingerboard is roasted maple and because of the set and finish, the whole thing feels nice and smooth. As so often in chord bases, the pickups are Mark 1 Sopa Humbuckers by Bartolini and the preamp is the MB1 Electronic by Mark Bass, with controls for volume, pickup blend, basses, mids and highs, plus a passive sound if you pull out the volume control. With its sound, this is the perfect machine for everyone who likes big bass tones without too much high end. Not to say it doesn't have any, but it seems nicely balanced to produce rather solid sounds. Of course you can change that if you lower the string height. On ours it's a bit higher cause that's how I like it. Less fuss, more tone. This causes a certain lack of harmonics, which seems to make this bass sound even more solid and in tune. Of course you can use the EQ to add treble and get more harmonics out of it. Let's hear that. <laughs> This is a great rock bass, a great soul and a great reggae bass. Anything that specifically profits from a super solid B and E string, but it's also very funky. <laughs> and women and everyone in between and beyond, this is a fantastic bass. The style and the sound is unusual for court, but I love where this is going. Great job.
If you want to try one yourself, check the links in the video description. That's it from me. Here's another court video. Here's some workshop where you can get the Frank it base face shirt. And here's me saying, well, no, here's the machine saying goodbye in Korean because I don't feel comfortable buttering that. 안녕히 가세요. Base, bro.